Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a USB 2 port or 4 port uh, adapter for these retro joysticks. So you can, these retro joysticks are very popular for Atari, Commodore, um, Master Systems, Genesis. They all basically use the same format. Very simple joysticks. They all had this 9 pin adapter. Um, and I decided to try to use them. I wanted to play some of the older games uh, with the true um, action of these joysticks to uh, have some nostalgia. But uh, I decided to create this adapter using a microcontroller and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. It'll basically take uh, these inputs from the joystick, convert them to signals that the computer can understand through the USB device and will see your game uh, joysticks as game pads on your PC or Raspberry Pi. And then to play four player games I created a four port version so I'll be showing you how to do these. So let's get started. So first thing is that these joysticks um, obviously have nine pins and when you look at the uh, pins inside you'll see that um, basically these joysticks uh, are very primitive. All they did is they act like five switches. The fire button is a switch, obviously, and then you know you have your top, up, down, left, and right. Each time that you move the stick, uh, this one of the pins on the uh, on the port will get shorted to uh, pin eight, which is ground. So uh, based on each of these, we can take uh, each of these wires here, bring them to a microcontroller, and uh, detect when it's uh, uh, hitting ground. So as soon as it hits low. We can uh, take those signals and programmatically we can simulate a uh, joystick. So how does that work? Uh, so what I decided to do, do is use a, uh, this is a schematic diagram. As I said, you've got uh, two of your ports here. I found a microcontroller, which is a Pro Micro uh, Mini. Uh, this is the 5 volt version uh, that you should be looking for. But basically, it's got uh, a whole bunch of ports. You need at least 10 ports on the microcontroller to support two joysticks and then I'll talk about how you can get beyond uh, 10 ports using serial I2C communication. But for a simple one like a two port one um, all you need is this this device, um, a couple of connectors so here's kind of the connectors that uh, you can get these are called DB9 male connectors and then uh, so I drew up the circuit diagram you can download this um, at the link below. It's also on my website, iCode.com. All the software that you need to install uh, on this microcontroller uh, is also available on GitHub and links are there on the, my website. And then what you do is you can um, either get a uh, simple prototyping board like this, which I'm going to show you how to use here, um, or on my website you can buy the entire kit. Right? You can get the microcontroller, the pre-designed uh, uh, circuit board with all the wiring pre-done and then uh, it comes with the connectors and all you got to do is put the parts on uh, really easy. They just go into these holes um, like that. The microcontrollers uh, kind of go like this um, on here like that and then one goes on this side uh, like this and then you solder them on. And then uh, I've also shown you on the website um, how to print a 3D case, you know, to uh, get to this final conclusion. You can use it, your 3D printer, download the STL files that I've provided. And, uh, you know, they go nicely in, in here like this. And uh, the case will snap on and uh, you get something like this. So what I liked about this one was that it was transparent. So when I plug it in, it lights up red. red and as I use the joystick, you can see blinking lights so you know it's uh, operational and, and working well. Okay, so how do you make one uh, if you wanted to use this prototype board? Basically, you do the same thing. Uh, you take the microcontrollers, you uh, stick them through like that and put the two adapters on the ends. And at the end, um, you know, you'll end up with something like this. So I wired them based on this wiring diagram. Uh, you stick your wires through the holes, um, you flip it over, um, you solder them on, and you know those are making the connections of the wires to each of the ports. And then uh, 
you know, if you plug this in and put your two joysticks on the ends here, um, your system will recognize it as long, as long as you program this. You need Arduino IDE to download that, to program this, and then, of course, download the software from my site, and uh, you'll, be, you'll be good to go. If you don't feel like uh, doing any of it and you just want to buy the finished product, um, you can buy either the kits to make them or you can buy the finished products like these uh, on my website as well. So I hope you have fun uh, building this thing. Uh, it was quite easy. Here's kind of a four port version that I was talking about. Um, again, it's got four ports. The Arduino goes here. But remember, because it doesn't have enough ports, I had to use an I.O. expander. It looks uh, something like this that uh, goes on this side. It'll convert uh, these um, um, SCL and SDA signals into uh, from serial communication. All the programming is done on the program, but it knows how to talk with a couple of pins into these and it converts serial to parallel. So you get a whole bunch, uh, a lot of other ports and it becomes functional um, at the end. So, um, and then if you want to get really fancy, you can look at my next blog coming. This is a battery operated Bluetooth version. So uh, what's nice about this one is that uh, you can sit back on your couch and you don't have to have long wires running up to your TV. Uh, it'll connect with Bluetooth. It uses an ESP32. Uh, instead of a, uh, because an ESP32 has a Bluetooth device in it, uh, this one does not. I'm not selling these yet because I'm still working out some kinks, uh, but it seems to work pretty well with two ports. We'll see if I can get a four port version working uh, as well, but um, so stay tuned on that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you visit uh, my blog at ico.com. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.